So from the top, in case you've missed anything, here is the Raspberry Pi with uh, four gigs, of, four gigabytes of RAM in a Flirk case. Okay, I'm going to take the flashed micro SD card and place that into the back of the uh, Raspberry Pi. So I'm just going to insert that through like so. Okay, so that's just now been inserted in. Now, the next thing that we should do is uh, connect the hard drive, or sorry, the solid state drive. Um, so that is enclosed in a nice case um, that I previously did. And we are just going to plug one end into the, uh, the hard drive and the other end into a black port of the um, of the, the Raspberry Pi. So I'm just going to take that and plug it in like so. Okay. Next, what we'll do is we will put the network cable in. Okay. And so the network cable will fit into uh, into that slot there. So I'm just going to take a network cable and insert this through. Um, so, okay. So now I have uh, that connected. The other end of the network cable will go into my uh, router at home. Okay. So that's where that other cable is going. The next thing that I'm going to do is ensure that I have the power supply. And this is a USB type C. And all we are going to do is put this into the power supply. Now understand that as soon as this is put in, what this script will do is format the hard drive or the, the solid state drive and wipe it clean. So if you're using a used SSD, um, just note that it will be uh, it, it will be wiped. So as soon as we put this in and power it up, we should expect to see um, maybe some blue lights with this. Um, and yeah, it will now start up and hopefully detect our network as well. So that's what we're hoping to see. So let's try that out. So I'm just going to plug this in through like so. Okay. So the power is on. You can see some flashing blue lights. Fantastic. Okay. So this is our my node. 